Good day. Welcome to another episode of a Choco Paints How to Series. I am Nadine Forsler, and today I'll be showing you how to paint with different paint tools. Very important is the size and the texture that you are going to paint on. So here are a few tips. Firstly, if your surface is smooth, a foam roller will be the best tool to use. If your surface is smooth, and medium size to large, a mohair roller is your best tool to use. If there is texture on your surface, you can use a good quality paintbrush. Always feel that the bristles are nice and soft and this will be your best tool to use. I'm going to start by showing how to do the application with a foam roller. I'm going to need a paint tray and a 110 to 160 millimeter foam roller. I'm going to decant some of my paint in my paint tray. Now, very important is to refer to the preparation and cleaning video before you start with your painting process. Once your surface has been cleaned and you have allowed the drying time, I'm going to decant some paint in a paint tray, close my jar to prevent any contamination, Use my foam roller and here it is very important to make sure that you distribute the paint nicely, evenly and thoroughly on your foam roller. Any excess can be removed on this part of the tray, so I need to make sure that there's an even distribution of paint all over my foam roller. You don't want to overwork the surface with a foam roller and by overworking, you don't want to paint over and over the same area because that will cause roughness and also streakiness on your surface. So air bubbles is something very natural that does happen when working with a foam roller. Key to success is enough paint on your roller, evenly distribute it. Your first coat is always the foundation, so I'm making sure it's done properly, evenly and nicely. And the great advantage of a foam roller is the fact that you can change directions. An important tip to bear in mind is when your surface is dark and you paint a light color onto that dark surface, more than two coats might be necessary. Also, depending on the color that you're painting with, brighter colors do tend to require more than two coats. I have this very old varnish chair that I'm going to give a second chance on life. And remember to follow the cleaning instructions. Next, I will use both a paintbrush and a foam roller on certain areas. So very important to remember. Quality of your paintbrush is key to success. A tip of advice is rather to decan some paint in a paint tray than working directly with your paintbrush from your jar to prevent contamination. I am going to work with the grain of my wood and my paintbrush and paint evenly. Do want a generous amount of paint on your paintbrush and don't want any tears um, occurring on your surface and that is where there's too much paint overlapping in areas and it's done unneedly. So especially when painting the legs of tables or chairs, on these areas to get an even and very smooth application on the flat surfaces, I paint with my paintbrush and while the paint is still wet, I use my foam roller and very lightly apply pressure and just even out any streakiness that might be visible. Practice makes perfect. And if you enjoyed this video and found some useful tips that you can use, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on those notifications. 